Hello, this is Bishop Randy Morgan. Thank you for joining us today on the Covenant Network broadcast. This broadcast is devoted to learning how to utilize the unchanging, heart-transforming, world-altering power of the spoken Word of God and how to utilize it every day. If you want more information on the Covenant Network, please visit our website at covenantnetwork.net. Now grab your Bibles and some note-taking instrument and let's get into the Word of God. Okay, final video on the series of the Holy Spirit. The first video was the New Testament examples of believers being filled with the Holy Spirit. The second podcast and video was on the salvation and the infilling of the Holy Spirit as two separate works of grace, biblical evidences of that, and the purpose of the infilling of the Holy Spirit for power for the believer. The third video was the benefits of speaking in other tongues as it relates to the infilling and the overflow of the Holy Spirit from your life. Um, we understand that salvation has no evidences except for a life change. But the baptism or the infilling of the Holy Spirit has an evidence because out of the overflow of the heart, the mouth will speak. When you become full of the Holy Spirit, you will begin to speak in other tongues. And I gave many scriptural references and evidences for that stand and for that belief. So we believe in being born of the Spirit and we believe in being empowered by the Spirit that those are two separate works of grace, the same Holy Spirit. Two separate manifestations, one Holy Spirit. There's a manifestation of the born-again uh, life, the new creation, and then there's the manifestation of power and supernatural giftings. So, this last one I want to talk for just a few minutes, this last video, this last podcast, I want to talk for just a few minutes about how to receive the baptism in the Holy Spirit. How to receive. First of all, you must be a believer. You must be a believer. You must have called upon the Lord Jesus Christ in order to receive the infilling or the baptism in the Holy Spirit. You must be born again. Jesus said the world cannot receive the Holy Spirit. What did he mean when he said that? He meant that the unregenerate cannot receive. So this, this is something very important. If you're not born again, don't seek after tongues and the infilling of the Holy Spirit. You might open yourself up to something that you, you could be bad. <laughs> because the baptism in the Holy Spirit is precious. And God will only give the infilling of the Holy Spirit to people who believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay? Okay. That's the first thing. The second thing is you have to yield yourself. Now, if I were to say to you right now, Repeat after me. I am watching a video. I just gave you utterance. Acts chapter 2 verse 4 says, They spake in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them or gave them the utterance. He gave them things to say and then they said it. I did not reach through this video, take control of your tongue and make you say I'm watching a video. I gave you something to say and then you said it after me starting with the building blocks of that. Now, the Holy Spirit may give you a few sounds, a few syllables, a few utterances. You begin to speak them out, and as you become more comfortable, begin to flow more, and out of, your, out of that will flow those rivers of living water. Somebody may say, well, Pastor, I'm only, I feel like I can speak a few things, but, but it's only just a couple of few syllables. Let me tell you this. There is a phrase in the English language that is only three syllables long. Only three syllables. And it's a phrase in the English language that has caused the nation to rise and fall. It's called, caused houses, homes to rise and fall. It's caused uh, pretty much everybody that's walking on the earth right now is the product <laughs> of this one, three, syllable phrase. Are you ready for it? That three syllable phrase is I love you. That one three syllable phrase 
has affected spiritual atmospheres, national atmospheres, homes, regions, areas. It's impacted, and like I said, pretty much every English-speaking person that's walking, not everyone, but many, most, I would say, that's walking is a product of those three syllables being spoken at some point in the lives of two heterosexual people. Now, there are other situations, but I won't go into those. But pretty much everybody walking around right now is the product of that, that phrase being imparted into someone else at some point or another. Think about that. Just those three syllables. It's caused businesses to rise and fall. It's caused churches. When I say fall, rise and fall, I mean if, if somebody, like, like in a business, somebody says, I love you, and it imparts to them uh, the, the character and nature of success, um, uh, holding, withholding it can create the failure of some people. Giving it creates the successes. I'm telling you, three syllables in the English language in our own understanding has created generations of, of successes. Withholding it has created generations of failures. I love you. So let me tell you this as you're hearing this and watching this. Those, if those three syllables can create such shifting in the atmosphere, how much more can just a few syllables, if the Holy Spirit gives us those syllables and we speak them out, shift generations, shift nations, shift churches. What are you doing? What are you doing, Pastor Andy? I'm, I'm, I'm speaking out as the Holy Spirit gives me the utterance. As I do that, I'm speaking into the atmosphere things that will shift the very atmosphere around me. It'll change the natural realm. It'll change the spiritual realm. There's an invisible realm. So as we yield to the Holy Spirit and we give Him our voice and we allow Him to give us utterances and we speak those things out and we begin to speak them spontaneously and fluidly, he will create in the atmosphere around us the very rushing mighty wind that will transform the landscape of the Spirit. Boy, this is, this is powerful. But if you'll yield your tongue and be filled with the Holy Spirit and speak in other tongues, He'll transform generations of people after you. Oh, I encourage you, to do this today. So first you must be a believer. Second you must yield yourself. By listening. Listen to Him. And speak what He gives you. Third. Worship Him. Jesus said that the Holy Spirit had not yet been uh, given. Because He had not yet been glorified. Jesus is now glorified. When you glorify Jesus. The Holy Spirit. A manifestation of Himself will begin to rise up within you and you'll begin to feel that overflow. The more you pour your heart out to Jesus in worship, the more you'll begin to sense that bubbling up of tongues. Some people have told me, they said, I've been feeling this for years, but I've just never groaned or never moaned or never gave utterance or never spoken those sounds out. Right, do it now. <laughs> so, and then finally, you just have to ask. Jesus said, who asking of his father for bread would give his son a stone? Or asking for um, an egg would give him a serpent or a scorpion? Jesus said, if your heavenly father, uh, how much more will your heavenly father give you the Holy Spirit for those who ask? So today, just simply say, Father, please fill me with the Holy Spirit. And as you do that and you ask Him for the Holy Spirit, then just begin to speak as He gives you the utterance. He will give you the utterance. He absolutely will. You may say, well, Pastor Andy, I feel like I'm just babbling nonsensically. Yes. <laughs> it, it makes no sense to your mind, nor should it. It, it doesn't. Paul said it, it's like babbling. It's like making no sense to your mind. He said your understanding is unfruitful. That's exactly right. That's exactly what it is. As you receive that utterance, just begin to speak it. My personal testimony, really quick, 
When I was 10 years old, I knelt down at an old burnout log next to my grandmother's house. And the words of Billy Graham and on TV the night before and the words of my grandfather as Billy Graham was te preaching and all of the years of being in church as a child, all those sermons, all of a sudden came rushing back to my heart in that moment. And at 10 years old, I laid down my Star Wars action figures that I was playing with out there in the woods. I laid them down and I knelt down at that log and I said, Lord Jesus, if you're real, come into my heart and come into my life. And the second I prayed that at 10 years old, it's like everything around me froze. Everything. And, and the warmth of the Holy Spirit came into my life. And I was born again. And I never wanted anything as much as I wanted Jesus from that moment on. Four years later, I was out at my granny's house mowing the grass in, in her front yard. I won't ever forget where I was. I won't ever forget what I was even wearing at 14 years of age. Now, I froze because the Holy Spirit said, call your cousin Tammy and go to church with her tonight. So I called her and said, I'm supposed to go to church with you tonight. So her family came by and picked me up. And on the way to church, the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, the pastor is going to preach from Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 4, and I'm going to give you what you need. I got there, the pastor said, turn to Acts chapter 2, verses 1 through 4. And he preached on the infilling or the baptism in the Holy Ghost with the evidence of speaking out other tongues. At the end of the message, he said, who wants this precious gift? And I raised my hand. I said, I want the Holy Ghost. So I ran down to the altar. And as soon, I don't know whether his hand actually touched me or not, but I fell out under the power of the Holy Ghost. And it felt like a million volts of electric love shot through my body. I was like, gah! But I wasn't speaking in tongues. I was filled with the Holy Ghost and I was ready, but nothing took control of my tongue. I was like this. I was waiting. And I said, Holy Spirit, I know you just filled me. I know you, you were in me and you want to overflow out of me. Am I not supposed to be speaking in tongues? And the Holy Spirit simply said this, go ahead. He gave me a, a few little syllables and I began to speak. And as I spoke those out by faith, more began to come. And I began to speak. And then all of a sudden this river, is like priming the pump, <laughs> this river began to flow out of me and I began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave me the utterance. Today, in this video, and in this podcast, you've confirmed that you're born again. You've confirmed that you've asked the Lord for the filling of the Holy Spirit, the infilling, the baptism in the Holy Spirit. You're ready. Now, I encourage you to turn this off. When I pray, after I pray, go spend some time alone with the Father and begin to speak as the Holy Ghost gives you the utterance. Father, right now, I lay my hands on the listeners of this video, the viewers of this video, in Jesus' name. I set my hand on them by faith and declare that they receive the promise of the Holy Ghost. And they will begin to speak as the Spirit gives them utterance. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Email me. Send me a text, 404-394-2513, 404-394-2513. Email me, visit our website at newcovenantatlanta.com and give me information about you receiving the, the infilling of the Holy Ghost because I want to know. I want to be able to rejoice with you. God bless you and I'll talk to you soon.